hi everyone by the end of this video you will be able to know the differences between an expression an equation a function and a formula i will keep the explanations as simple as possible to keep it simple expressions do not have the equals sign these are examples of mathematical expressions and they do not have the equals sign mathematical expression can be linear quadratic when the highest power of x is 2 polynomial when the highest power of x is greater than 2 rational for dividing terms let's express and simplify for the perimeter of this rectangle by adding all the sides the addition of all the sides will give you the perimeter next 2x plus x plus 2x plus x this will give us 6x next 3 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 this will give us plus 2 now we have ended up with an expression in its simplest form subsequently if we consider this rational expression y to the power of 7 we cancel out y to the power of 7 next 5 here is 1 and 5 here is 3 x we take away one of the x finally we are left with an expression of 3x as you can see from the examples that some expressions are already in their simplest form however some expressions will require further simplification now that you can identify mathematical expressions next let's look at equations in order to keep it simple an equation simply contains equals sign when you equate an expression to a value it becomes an equation equations usually have an existing terms on both sides of the equal sign Equation can be linear, quadratic, polynomial, or rational. Let's consider 3x minus 5 is equal to 7. If we solve this, we are going to obtain that x is equal to 4. In most equations, when you obtain an answer, that marks the end of the mathematical problem but this is not so with a function that you can identify equations next let's look at functions a function is simply an equation that the variables changes in the mathematics we can say that any mathematical equation that can accept different values for s while generating different results is simply called a function because we can obtain different answers from the same equation this is called a function we can see this a lot in pre-calculus domain and range problems which you can check out from the description or from the playlist to explain mathematical function let's consider the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. for a function we are going to use f of x to replace y this is because x will be changing in this equation which is now called a function which will cause y to generate different results let's assume 
that x will take values between let's say 0 and 3 inclusively if we input x equal to 0 in this function we are going to obtain 3 for s equal to 1 we are going to obtain 5 and for x equal to 2 we are going to obtain 7 for x equal to 3 we are going to obtain 9 you can see that inputting different values for x in this function generated different results if we extend the permissible values for x in this function we're going to generate an infinite values for y this capability is what differentiates an equation from a function now that you can identify expressions equations and functions next let's look at formulas mathematical formula is an equation which contains alphabet numbers symbols and constant which are used to solve real life problems the alphabets and variables in a formula represent anything in real life there are so many formulas used in mathematics sciences and engineering to solve real life problems the first formula can be used to solve the area of a circle the second formula is energy mass relation the third formula can be used to solve quadratic equation the fourth formula can be used to solve area of a triangle when we have the base and the height the fifth example here can be used to solve for the volume of a sphere the sixth example can be used to solve for the volume of a cylinder the seventh example here can be used to solve for the volume of a box that is a rectangular prism for more videos like this check the description also check out the playlist